Hello everybody, my name is Prema Maria Nanda and I'm guiding you through this Vinyasa flow class today. Always remember and keep in mind, always hear my voice, but listen to your body. And whenever you feel you need a short break, just stay in Downward Dog in Adamukha and um, leave out one vinyasa if it's too much for you. Great, so let's start off then. Find a comfortable seating position. If your hips are tight, just sit on a little cushion. Yes, very good. I think it's better so that your pelvis is tilted to your front, to the front, and then place your wrists on your knees, close your eyes and focus within. Feel your body, feel your sit bones on the mat and observe your breathing flowing in and out of your body. Observe, scan your body and see how are you feeling today? Are there certain places where you feel tightness or stiffness? Maybe you would like to bring a gentle smile to those areas and invite them to loosen up to let go. And then very gently, very slowly, let your chin slowly drop down towards your chest. Exhale. And inhale and feel the stretch in your neck, just feel in and exhale. And observe that it loosens up more and more with every breath you take. And then start rotating your head to your right. Slowly inhale circling upwards and exhale to your front. Three rounds in your own rhythm and imagine it's as if you were drawing big circles with your nose. Inhale, and you're circling upwards. And exhale, down. And then when you've done your three rounds, change the side, change the direction. Circle your head to your left. Very gently observe. Very good. And when you arrive down, just let your chin hang down and just feel the sensation and then slowly inhale, lift your head and feel the difference in your neck. Feel the sensation. Maybe also on your shoulders, just see where you feel any sensations and then inhale, stretch your arms high up high. If you want, you can interlace your thumbs with each other and then stretch up your body high. It's as if you would want to lift your upper body out of your hips and your hips connecting down with your mat 
and feel the nice stretch in your body and your sides and maybe also your shoulders and then exhale place your right hand next to you and lean over to your right side gaze upwards and look under your upper arm towards the ceiling and inhale wheelbarrow your rib cage to the top it's like opening your rib cage and look up look towards the ceiling stretch your arm your arm is stretched straight right to your fingertips and feel the opening of your side body then inhale hands high stretch high again yay and exhale place your left hand next to your left side and bend over lean over gaze up towards the ceiling also bend your left arm your elbow because if you do so you can bend even deeper come even deeper into the side stretch your arm is straight up to the fingertips very nice and your palm is facing downwards great then inhale stretch up high lift your body high whoa and then turn your upper body to your right side placing your left hand on your right knee inhale envision or imagine you're inhaling from your up your spine and exhale into more into the twist let your shoulders sink down let your shoulders drop down towards your mat and always inhale breathe up the spine and exhale push yourself a bit further into the twist with your left arm once more inhale up your spine and exhale into the twist then inhale turn your body to your front hands up high stretch up high and exhale turn your body to your left side your right hand on your left knee and look to your back turn shoulders low straight back your hand at the back of your back is on your fingertips also bend a little bit and enjoy the stretch enjoy the stretch and the twist rather in your spine so inhale breathe up the spine and exhale further into the twist another two breaths very good then inhale turn your body to your front hands high again oh, and then come up into yogi squat so place your feet on the mat and bring your elbows on the inside of your knees very good very nice and you're straight back shoulders away from your ears straight back and yes enjoy this stretch as well here as well you can also take if it's too low for you you can also take a block and place the block underneath your bottom and sit on the bottom if you like yeah so you can try that mm -hmm. just as a variation yeah try that so once we have the blocks it's great you can use them so you sit on the block and then try to open your knees and bring your hands your elbows on the inside of your knees hands together in front of your chest very nice yes wow that looks great and stay there for another three and two and one and take out the block again and come on all fours in tabletop position so for some round for some intuitive movements so move your body just the way it wants to move now just see wake your body up 
turn and move it into all directions. Include your head, your neck, your elbows, your shoulders, and gently wake it up very good. And then come back into a still position and we will start again with some rounds, cut, cat, cow, Majavi Asana, Bitil Asana. So inhale, Bitil Asana, gaze to your front, arch your spine, shoulders away from the ears, and exhale, Majavi Asana, round your back, and really push your shoulders out of your, you know, as if you would want to push it out of your body. We're really pushing your hands into the mat and chin towards your chest. Inhale. Look up again, Bittilasana, arch your spine, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, round back. Inhale, look forward, Bittilasana. Exhale, Majari. Inhale, Bittil. Exhale, Majari. This is really good for your vertebras. Inhale. Maja, no, Bittil, sorry, <laughs> and exhale, Majari, very good, then come into neutral position, we will do also some rounds of tiger roll, so inhale, stretch your right arm to the front, and lift your left leg as high as possible, and then exhale, your right elbow and your left knee together around your back, then inhale, stretch out apart again, high, look up, and exhale, round your back, your knee and your elbow come together. One last time, inhale, stretch up high, look up, exhale, round your back, and then one last time, sorry again, straighten your leg, and then bend your knee, and try to take hold with your right hand, your left ankle very good and then you open up let your left ankle open up your body to the front it's your clavicles looking to your front rise up feel the stretch activate your glutes muscles activate your uriana banda your belly button pulling inwards very good exhale place your knee and your arm Back down again, other side. So inhale, left arm apart, right leg high, tiger roll. And exhale, bend your right knee, bring it together with your left elbow, round back. Inhale, stretch up high, look up high, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, knee and elbow together, round back. It's a little bit of a balance pose, embrace the wobbles. Inhale, look up, right foot also away as high as you can. Exhale, down and now inhale, you stretch your left foot, bend your knee, take hold with your left hand, your right ankle or foot, very good. And then you pull yourself up high. Here again also activate your glutes muscles, your gluteus muscles. Open up, let the clavicles smile to your front. Look up, hold it for three and two and one. And then exhale, place your right foot down and stay very good. Then tuck your toes under and come up into our first downward facing dog, Ado. Mukha Svanasana, make sure your feet are hip wide apart and your fingers spread out and ground your fingertips, ground your finger, your palms as well. Externally rotate your humerus is like your armpits facing each other. So you have more room between your shoulder blades and gaze towards your belly button. And then take your dog for a walk. Let's bring one heel towards the mat and the other heel 
So like take, open up your hips a little bit, wake up your body. Very good. And feel the stretch, feel the stretch in your hamstrings, maybe also in your armpits. Have them facing each other. Try to turn your armpits so as if that they're looking at each other, looking towards each other. Very good. And come back into still position. And then inhale, stretch your right leg up. Have it stretched right high up. And your shoulders are square to the mat. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And exhale, bend your knee and step to the front to your hands and come up high into Adhanasana. So both feet facing in one direction and come down low. Hold it there for five. Your left hip is facing to your front. Four, the back leg is straight. Three, lift up both your side body and your chest. Two and one, and exhale, straighten the front leg, frame the foot, come into pyramid pose. So it's pyramid pose. Here you can, if you have, take your blocks and put one block on the right side, one block on the left side of your foot, of your front foot. Very good, because then you can easier stay in that position. Try, you can also make your step a little bit smaller, so you can really have your both legs straight, and then lift up your front toes and your back heel and step backwards. And then step to your front, inhale, and to your back. Lift your front foot up high and then back again down, low. And once more, two and one. Lift your front foot up high, very good. And then windmill, wheelbarrow your arms upwards into Virabhadrasana, one. And come to the front knee is bent in the 90 degrees angle. Your back leg is straight, your back foot is parallel to the end of your mat and you're facing into the distance over your middle finger, over your right hand, come deeper. It's not standing up. So it's really bring your foot a bit closer if it's too far apart and come deeper. Yeah, and it's also, it's not your body facing forwards like that, like an arrow, but your body is straight up and your arms, shoulders down, hands apart and hold for another three and two and one and here again take your block on the inside of your right foot put your block here on the inside of the right foot and then come into Utita Pasha Konasana yes very good triangle side pose and gaze up into your palm of your left hand very good hold it there straighten up very good gaze into your hand for three two and one and then inhale rise back up come into shanti virabhadrasana so you can either bring your hand down on your foot your left one or wrap it around your waist take hold of your thighs open for five four three two one and then exhale, frame your foot, step back, come down into Chaturanga. So straight body, come down, inhale, Urdhva Mukhasvanasana, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Very good. So stay in down dog for a couple of breaths for five. Externally rotate again your humerus, your upper arms, so it's your armpits facing towards each other. Four. Face towards your body, 
belly button. Three, two, and one. And bend your knees, look to your front and step or jump to your front. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Here you can place your hands option on your shins. The important thing here is that your legs are straight, your back is straight, shoulders away from your ears and look to your front. Hold it there or if you can and you reach the mat, bring your hands in one line with your toes or even place them down if you want. But maybe you can just stay up there as well and have your hands on your chins with straight back and shoulders away from the ears. Two and one, and then exhale, bend your knees, nose between the knees, come down into Uttanasana. And bend, press your hands into the mat. It's your fingertips in one row with your toes. So press down and hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one, and then inhale, strong legs, rise up high, hands high, and exhale, place them in front of your chest. Yes, okay, so here your both feet are, we'll just take a little thing in between, both feet are now hip wide apart. Now stretch your toes apart, so it's like really stretching your toes apart, lift them high, and then ground your big toe and the inside of your heel and your little toe and the outside of your heel. Then very slightly bend your knees, open your chest, lift your side body, open your chest and have your hands facing a little bit to your frown for Samastitihi. Very good, okay, feel the grounding, feel the connection. And then inhale, hands high, high up, and exhale, low, come down, Uttanasana, bend knees, nose between your knees, and hands on the mat, palm of your hands, pressing downwards, inhale, halfway lift, hands on your shins, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, come back down, step back, and take it down into Chaturanga, straight body, elbows in and inhale, Uddhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog, yes, also shoulders away from your ears, chest forwards, very good, and exhale, back into down dog, great, for the other side, so inhale, lift your left leg up high, make sure to square your shoulders, Hold it there for five, four. Activate your glutes and your Uriyana Bandha as your belly button pulling towards your spine. Three, two, and one. And bend your knee, bring your knee towards your chest. Step to your front and inhale, rise up into Adhanasana, left leg to the front and rise up your right hip is pushing forwards and your left one is like him they're in one line your left knee is down in a 90 degree angle lift up your side body and your chest come back down and your back foot is stretched a bit further down you come further down with your knee yes it's in a 90 degrees angle and further you can do it yes so i've been talking so it's not another five but i just started three and two and one and inhale stretch your front foot up frame your foot both feet facing to your front for pyramids pose and then inhale toes towards your shins and exhale, back heel, lift up high. Inhale, back heel down and toes towards your shin. Exhale, so you're taking some steps, yes. 
and feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Inhale, toes towards your shin. Exhale, and step to the front one last time. Inhale, and exhale. Down, place both feet downwards, and then wheelbarrow both hands up. Come into Virabhadrasana. B, so here again, your back foot is parallel to the mat. Shoulders down. First, lift your side body. Chest, open your chest, shoulders down. Stretch your hands apart and look, gaze over your middle finger into the distance and hold it there for another five, four, three, two, and one, and then exhale. Take your, take your block on the inside of your left foot and place your hand on it for Pasha. Yes, Uttita Pasha Konasana. And gaze up into your hand, into your right palm. And so you're like an arrow in one line. Hold it there and you're opening also as your ribcage wheelbarrowing to the top, to the ceiling. Open your chest to the top for three and two and one. Very good. And inhale again. We'll bow both arms up. Come into Shanti Virabhadrasana. Here, option, bring your hand down your right foot or wrap your right arm around your waist. Take hold of your thigh. Hold it there for five and four, three, two, and one. Very good. Bring your hands back to your left foot. Frame your foot. Step back and slowly come down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back into Adamukha. Stay there for, and we can just let go of all the tensions. Again here, very important, have both turn, both armpits facing towards each other. So you have more room between your shoulders for five. Four, three, two, and one. Then bend your knees, look to your front, and step to your front. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Straight back, shoulders away from the ears. Belly in, Uddiyana Bandha. Exhale, deep down, low, Uttanasana. Inhale, strong legs, lift up high. And exhale, fold your hands in front of your chest together to Anjali Mudra, very good. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, deep down, low. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, step back, come into plank, and exhale down into Chaturanga, elbows in, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, down dog, great, so inhale, right leg up for three, frame your shoulders, two, and one, bend your right knee towards your chest, step to your front, inhale, Adhanasana, come down deep, four, three. Yes, back foot is straight, two, very good. Left hip facing forwards, one, great. Straighten your front foot and both legs straight. Make your step a little bit smaller. Take your blocks on your right and on your left side. Yes, have them there. And now we're making three steps. So inhale, point your toes towards your shins your right ones, and exhale, come to your front, step back, heel, back heel is lifted, inhale, again also, toes towards your shins, and exhale, lift your back heel high, one last time, inhale, 
toes towards your shins. Very good. And then inhale, open up and come into Virabhadrasana 2. And hold it there. Strong body. Lift your side body. Hold it, shoulders low. Gaze to your front for three and two and one and then take a block on the right side and inside of your foot come into Uttita Parshva Konasana to open up gaze into your left hand into the palm of your left hand hold it for three and two and one and inhale wheelbarrow up into Shanti Virabhadrasana so either place your hand on your back leg or wrap it around and fold it for three and two and one and then have your block ready and place your right hand next to your right foot come up into chandra <laughs> you know <laughs> very good take your right block there into avra chandrasana and then put your block Yes, underneath, and then you can lift your body, lift your back leg high, and also your arm up to the sky, so your shoulders both are stacked on top of each other. And if it's okay with your balance, try to side balance, yeah, it's opening. So take a block or even two if you need to, and then gaze up into your hand. So it's looking upwards into the hand, hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. And then very slowly come back down and come up into, into, which is the next, into Virkshasana, tree pose. So your right leg is stretched. Yes. <laughs> and then you place your foot on the inside of your thigh or on your calf on your lower leg but not on your knee and try to stay in balance not on your knee because it's not good for your knee so place it below it's not it's just the balance but not on your knee yeah hold it there for another three and two <laughs> and one then exhale place your foot back down very good and then step well not back down actually so i forgot something there so you place your left foot make a big step to your back come back into virabhadrasana b hold it there great and then exhale frame your foot step back come into chaturanga exhale gaze to your front elbows in inhale over mukha svanasana and exhale adha mukha yay very good we'll stay in adha mukha for five breaths four ground your fingers ground your hands two gaze towards your belly button one and bend your knees look to your front step or jump to the front Ardha Uttanasana halfway lift hands on your shins straight back shoulders away from the ears very good exhale deep down low inhale strong legs rise up high and exhale hands fold them together in front of your chest great other side inhale hands up high little back bend exhale come down low uttanasana inhale ardha uttanasana and exhale step back again vinyasa exhale chaturanga elbows in look to your front and inhale upward facing dog exhale down dog great other side inhale left leg up high for three activate your glutes two 
and your Uddiyana Bandha, one, then exhale, bend your knees, step between your hands to your front, inhale, come up high into Alanasana, bend your front foot, stay there for three, and two, your right hip to your front, the front leg is in 90 degrees angle, it's not that, yeah, it's like you're coming down, deep, and one, and very good. Then inhale, straighten your front leg, shorten your step, exhale, frame your front foot, both feet facing to the front in pyramid pose. So inhale, lift your toes towards your shin and exhale, make the step, lift your heels at the back. Inhale, lift your toes towards your shins and exhale, lift your knee, your heel, I mean. Inhale, toes towards the shin, very good. And exhale, let both feet drop down. And then inhale, we'll bow both arms up into Virabhadrasana B. Hold it there. The front foot is in a 90 degrees angle. Deeper, come deeper for three. And make sure the knee is a little bit facing outwards. The knees are that direction that when you look on it on top of it, you can see the middle, the third toe you can or just not see the third toe the knees just above it come a bit deeper two and one and then place take your block again on the inside of your light left foot and gaze upwards for utita partial konasana and it's a side stretch wheelbarrow your side body open look up into your hand into your palm Hold it there for three, and two, and one. And then inhale, come back up high, come into Uti, um, Shanti Virabhadrasana. Yes, so again here, and hold it for three, two, and one. And then again, tiptoe your feet back up. Take your, take your block and come into Arda, Chandrasana, so you can place your block underneath your left hand and open up your side body. And if it's possible, gaze up into your hand, activate your glutes and your Uriyana Bandha for five, four, three, two, and one. And very slowly come right up into Virkshasana onto the other side. So you're grounding your left foot right. Take up your right foot, place it on the inside of whoopsie, your thigh and or on your lower leg. Come into <laughs> this is very wobbly today. Embrace your wobbles. It's every day is different. And hold it for three. And two. Very good. And one. Great. And then take your right foot, make a big step to your back. Come back into Yes, to Virabhadrasana B, but doesn't matter. And then exhale, it's okay. You can come down into, frame your foot, and come down into Chaturanga, one more vinyasa. Elbows in, look forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Great. Well done. Hold it there for five. Four. Three, two, and one. And then bend your knees, look to your front, inhale, step to your front, halfway lift, and then exhale, Uttanasana, down, deep down. Inhale, strong legs, rise up high, and exhale, fold your hands together, into Anjali Mudra, very good. So we're gonna do one breath round this time. 
in the beginning. So here we go. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, deep down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, straight back. Exhale, step back and exhale down into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up high. Exhale, bend your knee, step to your front. And inhale, come up into Anasana. Exhale, straighten both legs, come into Pyramid Pose. Inhale, lift your right toes towards your shins. Exhale, place them back down. Inhale, come up into Virabhadrasana B. Very good. Exhale, right hand down on the inside of your right foot. Gaze up to the top, hold it. Very good. Utita Pasha Konasana. Inhale, we'll bury your arms back up into Shanti Virabhadrasana. Yes, very good. And then exhale, place your right hand down or on the block for Ardha Chandrasana for the half moon and gaze up, hold it there for three and two and one. And this time bring your left foot right back to the back and come down on the other side in Skandasana. So you're bending this time your left knee to the back and stay very good down in Chandrasana. We're not doing Vrikshasana twice. Very good. So try to open here. Yeah. So it's like straight back. Your left arm is on the inside of your foot. Very good. And your right foot is lifted. Also here you can even take a block. Okay, and then exhale, move over towards to the other side. Hold it there, straight back, very good. And here as well, it's easier if you have your foot flexed. Yes, yeah, very good, yes. Okay, great, and then lift up your body, great. And feel it, feel the stretch, it's a very strong stretch. And then exhale, sit down, yay, on your bottom, woohoo, made it, well done. And now stay in that posture, so bring your right foot on the inside, on the adductors, on the inside of your thigh, yeah, so we're coming into Janu Shirshasana, so you're stretching your foot, sitting there, if you have problems with your hips, or I mean that just tight or something, take a cushion to sit on them, very good and then inhale stretch up your body high and exhale stretch over to your foot here as well it's not so important to reach your foot it's important yes very nice to come down with a straight back so it's your your chest facing forwards your clavicles let them smile to the front and then lean forwards and hold it there and stretch, hold it for five, four. Also here it's an active pose, so engage your knee, pull your knee towards your hip, feel the stretch, three, and two, and one and then inhale stretch up high place your right hand next to your hip next to you and then lift your body up come up into wild things so this is a really opening up as it's your your hips pressing to the front it's like a back bend as well so you're facing into your palm into your left palm and hold it there activate your glutes here Hold it for five and four. It's a good heart opener as well. And three, two, and one. And then come back down, sit down 
on your bum, on your bottom, then fold your ankles together and jump back into vinyasa for the other side. So from plank pose, exhale, come down into Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, very good, down dog, good. And stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. And then bend your knees, look to your front, step to your front, halfway lift, shoulders away from the ears, straight back. Exhale, deep down, low to Mazama. Inhale, strong legs. Rise up high, exhale, hands fold them in front of your chest together. Very good. Other side, inhale, stretch up high, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, take it down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale. Downward facing dog, the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, bend your knees, step towards your front. Inhale, but both hands up high, Alanasana, bend your knee. Exhale, straighten your front leg, shorten your step. Inhale, lift your front toes towards your shins. Exhale, place them back down. Inhale, wheelbarrow open, come into Virabhadrasana B. And exhale, place your left hand on the inside, on a block if you want, of your foot for Utita Pasha Konasana. And then inhale, come back up for Shanti Virabhadrasana. Great, and then Make yourself ready, get ready for Ardha Chandrasana. So tip your back foot on the mat, place your left hand down on the mat and come into half moon posture, Ardha Chandrasana. Here again, take a block and then gaze up into your hand, hold it there for three and two and three one and then very slowly step put your foot back down and come back onto the other side into skandhasana so here your left foot is flexed you're coming to your back very nice so it's again here flex your foot your foot is really facing yes very good facing upwards is directly on your heel and opening up open your chest very Good, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And then slowly take it over to the other side, Skandasana, onto the other side. It's very strong, hip opener, very, very good, great. You're doing awesome, yoo -hoo. And the foot is flexed. Great, super, wow, you're looking really good. And then exhale, sit down on your bottom. Bring your left foot now onto the inside of your right thigh, on your abductors. Then inhale, straighten your arms high. And then exhale, come down into Jambu Shirshasana. So it's like forward fold and here as well it's always your shoulders away like turning backwards and no matter where you are with your hands the important thing is to have a straight back hold it there for five four three two and one, very good. Then inhale, come back up high. Place your left hand behind your back and open into wild things. So you turn up and you're on your lower left leg. 
of your hips pressing forwards. Gaze up into your hand, into the back. It's a nice opening. It's a nice, also hard opening. It's kind of nearly a back bend as well. So open, feel the stretch, hold it for five, four. Activate your glutes, three, two, and one. And then bring back your hand back down, then cross your ankles and step back into vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Very, very good. So now you can come down over your, roll over your toes, bring your knees down on the mat and you've really deserved a Balasana now. So you can take your, bring your hands down with your palms facing down behind next to your hips and your forehead down on the mat and relax for a little bit. Just let all your body relax a little bit. If you want, you can also sway a little bit very gently from one side to the next, to the other. So it's just like, yeah, you've really done a great job now. Take your time in Baal Asana. Just take your time in Baal Asana. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift your head high, come back up, and then lay down on your front for, yes, make a pillow with both your hands. Put one side of your head on that pillow, and then maybe you would like to sway with your bottom from one side to the other so you can feel the nice relaxing in your lower spine in your back and then mentally get ready for shalabhasana so bring both hands with the palms facing downwards next to your hips and then inhale Raise your legs up high and your shoulders away from the ears. Your hands stay down. Look up and hold it for five, four, come higher. Yes, three, two, and one. Very good. Again, make a pillow with you, both your hands and place your head down and relax for a little while. And then inhale, bring both hands to the front, stretch them out to the front and your feet at the back. We're going to inhale and you lift both arms and feet up high. Now inhale and lift them up high. Hold it there, shoulders away and open for five, four, three, two, and one, and then again, place your head down. Very good, and stay. And then very slowly, put your body and the weight on your hands and come back up into Ustrasana where the first variation is come on your knees, place your hands on your lower back and then here activate your quadriceps muscles 
and your glutes muscles so they're really holding you upwards and then place your hands on your lower back and let your head drop backwards for the first variation of Ustrasana Camel Pose and hold it for five. two and one and then inhale come back up and here you can tuck your toes under and here it's very important try to take both hands at the same time to the back and you do that while activating your quadriceps muscles and your glutes muscles activate them both and then slowly let your upper body drop back yes you can do it when you activate, great, yes. Your quadriceps muscles and your glutes, so really activate your glutes here in this one very strongly. So your hips are pressed forward and hold it there. Or you can come into full Ustrasana and hold it for five. Very good, and inhale, activate your crutches again, and come up at the same time of both sides. Very, very good, okay. So then, when you lie back down, you're going to do one candle pose, Shavanga Asana, so we have one inversion as well. So very slowly, place your feet next to your thumb, and exhale, and bring your upper body down on your mat and then inhale support your lower back and rise and here's the most important thing always keep your head your nose your eyes in one line with your spine so never never ever turn your head to your right or to your left side because then you might get problems with your vertebras in your neck and you don't want that to happen so just make sure very nice you come up you rise up high <clears throat> into shavang asana so here try to move your elbows as close together as possible and maybe you can even make your little fingers touch each other and stay in this inverted it's very very good posture here as well you can come up further onto your shoulders activate your glutes activate your belly button your udiana banda and your quadriceps and gaze up to the top hold it there for about 10 breaths and enjoy this inversion The more you activate your glutes and your quads, the straighter your Shavanga Asana, your candle pose will be. And when you feel ready, when you feel like it, you can also, when it's in your practice, you can also come into Hal Asana. So bring the toes behind your head. Here you can also interlace your hands and push your body further up onto your shoulders and hold it in. Halasana here. Make sure that your toes walk towards your head and your feet. Your heels, I mean, are pressed away. It's like the feet being flexed. Hold it for another couple of breaths. You can also come down into Karna Pidasana, like bring both knees next to your ears. And also your hands towards your feet if you like.
and then very slowly, wherever you are, support your back and very slowly, vertebra for vertebra, come back down on your back baby in slow motion very slowly then leave your head leave your legs straight up we're going to do one more posture for our middle for our core and have your hands lay them next to your hips and then we're going to start off with little steps and it's like touching with your right toe your left heel and then with your left toe your right heel with your right toe your left heel left toe right heel and it's like walking yeah it's like walking in the air and walking right down but down don't touch the mat and then walk back up again like really touching with your right toe your left heel really touch and then right back up again and then again once more back down right hip, um, toe your left heel and so on step for steps try to straighten out your legs have them straight and then step back up again very good and you can really feel your core maybe one last time just see do your best, try your best, right and then left, take some steps, very good, hold it there and before you touch the ground, move back up again, very, very good, great, so I'm sure you can feel it now, very good, <laughs> so very slowly take both legs, both feet at the same time and let them Go down towards the mat in slow motion, very slowly, very good, and calm down. Great, cool. So we're going to come into Matsi, eyes aligned to the fish pose. So bring both your hands underneath your hips palms facing downwards come up onto your elbows and then open your chest so it's really like pressing your chest as if somebody would pull you at your chest upwards so it's like a string pulling you upwards there from your chest and then let your dr head drop back and open your chest it's really your chest kind of the highest point of Yes, hold it. And breathe deeply. It's a very, very great posture for opening your heart, filling your lungs with fresh air, with fresh energy. And maybe this is the right moment to send a big smile to every cell of your body and envision that every cell of your body is smiling back at you. And then very slowly let go and take your arms, your elbows underneath. Yes, and lay down on your back. And then pull your knees, your feet towards you and bring your right knee, cross with your right knee over your left knee and let both knees drop to your left side. You can spread your arms upwards or in cactus pose if you have not enough room. Just see how it goes, but open your arms to the top and gaze to your right and feel this nice twist, feel this nice stretch also in your hips, in your psoas muscles, in the muscles where all emotions are stored. And breathe and let it open up, relax.
and gaze to your right side. Both shoulders stay on the mat. Let your body cool down. And very slowly inhale, lift both knees up. And then cross your right, your left knee, I mean, over your right and have both knees drop to your right side very gently, very slowly and gaze towards your left. slowly inhale bring both knees back to center and take hold of both knees pull them towards your chest take hold of them you can also come into a happy baby posture it's like your heels stacked on top of your knees and take hold of the outside of your feet and also here you can sway a little bit from one side to the other side so you can feel the massage of your back and joy. Here you can also pull your chin a little bit further towards your chest so you're stretching your spine and then let go take hold of both knees your shins pull them towards your body you can wrap your arms around them if you want you can take with your left hand the outer of your right foot and with your right hand your left foot from the outside so to make a little parcel and then really just also feel the nice stretch and if you want you can again let go have your arms wrap around your shins and here as well pull your chin a little bit further towards your chest for the stretch for the nice stretch in your spine And then very slowly get ready for the final asana for Shavasana. You can take a blanket or some socks or a sweater or whatever you feel like now. Make yourself comfortable. This is the most challenging posture of all because here it's about letting go of all thoughts and the easiest way to let go is that you watch or observe your 
breathing, so observing the air flowing in and out of your nose and see if you can breathe that gentle that you cannot feel the air flowing in and out. Your hands are next to your hips with your palms facing upwards. And I will leave you here. Stay in Shavasana for at least five minutes so important for your body to cool down, to relax, to have all this cleansed energies in your nadis now kind of relax, build themselves together again. I hope you liked this class. If you did, share with your loved ones or leave a like if you liked it. And namaste, I hope you have a beautiful evening.